Hey guys, Paddle and Dad here, and this is my first uh, YouTube episode. And what I want to go over today, because we're not in paddling season yet here in New Brunswick, still lots of snow and the rivers are all frozen up. Um, but some things to work on while you're waiting and even in the season, in the paddling season. And this is making dehydrated spaghetti. Um, so there's lots of different dehydrate, dehydrated meals you can make. I made some chili previously, but this one is really, really simple. Um, and it's a nice meal, as you can see, fits in the palm of your hand, very lightweight, um, but that'll rehydrate to a pretty big meal, which would be nice when you're out paddling. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step, -step, very simple process of making dehydrated spaghetti um, from start to finish. Okay guys, so how you start off is just make a big batch of spaghetti, whatever spaghetti sauce, homemade, store-bought, whatever works for you. You're just gonna take it, cook your noodles, mix it in And a that's, uh, that's like really gonna be the starting point. point. Then you're going to uh, put it on the dehydrator, which you're going to see from this picture. I got five trays, um, Canadian Tire dehydrator, probably, I don't know, 120, 130 bucks. And then you're going to set it for, it took me about 16 hours, I think, and rotating the trays every couple hours. And, and once it's about 60, 70% done, then you're going to um, break the pieces up a little bit just so the air can get in there and make sure everything is nice and dry and dehydrated before you go to the next steps. Okay, rehydration experiment. This is all dehydrated. They say to put in enough water that it just covers, then boil. I'll show you. Okay, enough. Uh, water just to cover it. Now we're going to throw it on the burner, let it boil for a couple minutes, put it in the canteen with the top on, let it sit for 15 and see if it rehydrates nicely. Okay, bring to a boil for a couple minutes and then into the canteen. Okay, so I just dumped all the spaghetti in there, my little canteen with the lid. Um, I'll eventually make a, a cozy, I think it's called, to make it insulate a little bit better. But we'll let that sit for 15 minutes and then we'll take it out and see how it rehydrates. Okay guys, 15 minutes. Got around the clock here. Let that sit in there. This is just a super small tester batch, so I didn't actually make a full-size meal. Just wanted to see how it's going to rehydrate. I have to do this with one hand here. There we go. So far, so you can see the steam coming off. Still lots of heat in there. Okay, I only got one hand, so I had to put the camera down for a second. Don't have a tripod set up right now. So, to look, looks like back to normal. Now we're gonna have a little taste. Thumbs up. That tastes like spaghetti that you just cooked. So, cooked, dehydrated, rehydrated. Comes, bounces right back. And I think that was a proper, may, maybe a little bit more water, but that was probably pretty good. Okay, there we go. Next step is to vacuum seal. So I got our vacuum sealer, vacuum seal bag. So what I did is I threw it all down this bag, but I crunched it up a little bit, just cause it's a little, just to make it more uh, compact. Now we're just gonna throw it on. It's always a good idea to recruit help. Hey Chloe? Yeah. Lock her down, Chloe. Okay, press uh, this one here, I believe, yeah. The red one in the middle, press that one. There we go, progress is done. Unlock, see how she goes. Pretty sealed. So what I'll do now, just to cut down, I'll reseal it here, just to make less extra bulk. So there you have it, folks. That's a full, and that's a big meal. I'm a big guy. Uh, big meal spaghetti in the palm of your hand, weighs about 125 grams, dehydrated, vacuum sealed. Throw it in the freezer. And then on my canoeing trip, take it with me, heat it up, and I've got a nice meal. Okay, so showed you what it looks like. Um, taste test, tasted just like it did, and I had some of this before. Dehydrated, tastes pretty well the same. So there's what the before product looks like. Now this is a full meal. This was just a little micro meal, just for testing. There's my big batch there. So I divided it by five for five meals, 125 grams per meal here which is gonna give a big heaping uh, supper after a long day of canoeing.